Today, in case you missed it, the public apology now out from Mark Jurich, the son of Tom Jurich. He tweeted this morning, I'm sorry my message got lost yesterday. It's never been about the seats. I know there's not a bad location in either of these beautiful venues. To the UofL fans, I offended. I am truly sorry. I'll be at every home game with my boys and are excited to support the cards. Mark Jurich now trying to clear up his fiery email to Athletic Director Vince Tyree, complaining about the family's seat selection for basketball and football. Well, his letter to Tyree, which became public, stirred up the fan base who viewed it really as kind of whiny and ungrateful. Tom Jurich received UofL football and basketball tickets and parking passes for 20 years as part of that settlement deal. Tom Jurich told us his family, not him, would be using the tickets. Mark was complaining about the location of the seats, also claiming Tyree has been treating his father and their family with disrespect. Ty Ray replied saying it is clear we disagree on all fronts. Jerry Eves on UofL's first national championship team has been talking about this controversy today on his radio show which is on every day at noon on talk radio 1080 a.m. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we were what? hoping that things it's, had settled down because really you haven't heard that much from Tom Jurich. We really hadn't and I thought that might be a good thing because it seemed like I thought that builds a little goodwill when you quietly mm -hmm. leave. And then this just kind of dusted it all up again. I would agree, but I think I was sitting in that chair there when I told you it was only the tip of the iceberg and it hasn't started. And wait till the NCAA comes back 18 months from now, what we find out, what's revealed, it's going to get nothing but worse. We've had our head in the sand do you for quite a long time. Do you th uh, Tom Jurich has told us he was never going to use those seats. That was for his family members. Do you think they were just intending to sell them? We don't know. We why, don't why know. Is Allegedly, so but that would sound like it to me because if you move them, the cost is lower. And here's the problem. All the donations that everyone had to do to get the best seats used to be 80% tax deductible. Right. You all know that. Well, they're not anymore. Not so much. So all universities are going to find out profits are going to drop because people are not going to give them those huge donations. They can't write them off anymore. They'll find somewhere else to donate that money. And so there are a lot of issues going on with that. We're also talking about it was eight seats for 20 years. And I guess some people were going, well, if you're not there at the university, do you really need Astronomical. all Astronomical. Yeah. Well, when you have two In addition people, to the buyout. Former President Ramsey and Tom Jurich, when you come together and you cut your own deal, you can't do that. It's a public institution. Other people have to be involved and other people have to know it. Too many things like that happen during their tenure. Now, a lot of U of L fans were hard on Mark Jurich today, but we did find a couple of positive tweets. This is on, from the Mark Jurich account. Dave Burr tweets, glad you put this on here. I know you're still hurting from everything that happened, as are we, the fans. I think Vince is doing a good job. Just a shame because of others' carelessness. You guys had to take the fall. Hang in there, buddy. And then Demetrius Peterson tweeting, thank you for everything that you and your family has done for this university. Looking forward to having your presence at the games. To all who have forgotten already, the Jurich name is U of L royalty. So let's ask you about that because Tom Jurich did a lot of things for that university. I think as far as building and, and the sports facilities, it was changed for the better because of him. Do you give him that or do you think Let's see what all comes out after everything is said and done. Well, first thing you have to find out, are the facilities paid for? That's the first thing. I was on the committee that brought Tom Jurich to University of Louisville. And when Bill Olson left, all the scholarships were endowed. That's a fact. And there was a slush fund of money. That's a fact. I was on the committee. Ray Nystrom headed that committee. So we'll have to look and see. The way you tell if there was an excellent tenure is what happens when they leave. If the University of Louisville has the money to fund all their properties and continue to develop them and develop the scholarship funds, then it'll be fine. But if it's not, you have to look so at it too and soon. wait. But back to this email. Mm -hmm. Do you think they read it and released it, whoever did, thinking, uh, there's such a good will for the Jewish family, they'll get their seats back, they'll be moved? Or how do you think he came off in that email? Well, that's the only thing. Lawyers came together and had an agreement. They had a contract. University of Louisville had to honor their piece of the contract, which, which is an astronomical amount of money. But at the same time, Tom Jurich's lawyers did not specify where the seats had to be. So by doing that, it opened up University of Louisville to do what Tom Jurich has done to individual ticket holders for a long time. If they didn't up that money on what I was telling you about the donations, that they would move their seats. And they have done it for 20 years. And that I will say one other quick so, thing. Good for the goose is good for the gander. And I will <laughs> say, you don't want that family, and I'm not meaning this in a nasty way, on every shot behind the team bench. I, I don't think that is truly an issue. I really do not. No. 
I, I don't I think because so. cameras can find you anywhere. They can find you anywhere if they want to find you, but it's not really pertinent because they were not the coach. If it was Coach Patino, it would really be different. If it was the Tom George seating in the stands, they would find him, have would find him at the so. top row of the Yum Center and also a Papa John. Good point. Right. You understand? Right. But we and Mark know no one really cares. Thank you, right. Jerry. Thank you so much. We appreciate always, it. always good to see you.